Hi. Hello, Senator Duckworth. Derek Bain here. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Doing good, doing good. Um, so, yeah, you know, we've just got a few minutes, and i uh, got a couple things I wanted to ask you about here. Um, I guess starting with one of the hot topics of the day, IVF. Um, seems like most Americans support IVF, but why then are you, do you say Republicans are blocking the, the right to this uh, IVF act that, uh, that you've kind of proposed? Is there, what, why do you think they can't get behind it? Well, they can't get behind it because Donald Trump told them not to. Uh, and, and frankly, uh, that's the bottom line, uh, uh, because they want to define a fertilized egg as a human child outside of the uterus. Um, and so, you know, in the nearly two years since we, uh, uh, since the Dodd decision that overturned Roe v. Wade, we see this increasing restrictions, uh, um, and, uh, Republicans and conservatives trying to control, uh, women's bodies, um, Basically, they've been incentivizing far-right anti-choice policymakers in deep red, deep red states to defund health care for low-income Americans. They've been getting out there uh, with this definition of a fertilized egg as a human child, which means that procedures like IVF uh, uh, basically involve manslaughter or murder. I mean, when I had five fertilized eggs as part of my IVF procedure and three of those eggs were non-viable, they stopped growing. Uh, my doctor said, hey, we, we can't put these three non, these fertilized eggs that are not growing in you because they would cause miscarriages. Well, as far as the Republicans uh, are concerned, that would be manslaughter or murder, which means that you can't have IVF because doctors can't be committing manslaughter and murder as part of their proce medical procedures. And so uh, I, pa I, you know, I, I put forward a piece of legislation that just says that Americans have the right to access IVF. Doctors have the right to provide IVF. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, and insurance has the right to cover it uh, if they want to. And um, not a sing you know, the Republicans didn't support it and, and, in fact, voted it down. So do you think these are very real threats to the future of IVF? Very much so. As you saw in Alabama, uh, the IVF clinics in Alabama shut down immediately as soon as the Alabama Supreme Court said that uh, um, uh, a fertilized egg is an extra uterine child. And then they had to come back, um, their state legislator had to come back and pass state law that said, yes, it is, still an, uh, it is still manslaughter and murder. We just won't prosecute you. Well, that doesn't mean anything. That just means that in the future, they can still come back and prosecute you. In Louisiana, there's a law on the books already that says you can't discard fertilized eggs. Uh, so that means that, you know, families that are that are trying to have a child like like my husband, and I struggled for 10 years with infertility trying to have our child. You're now stuck uh, with non viable fertilized eggs that you can't discard and you have to pay to to keep. And, and so um, it, it, it's becoming more and more difficult. And uh, uh, as we make it more and more difficult for families, you're going to see that more and more people will not ever receive, um, you know, achieve their dream of starting the family um, that they can only achieve through IVF. Senator, uh, last time I talked with you, you were in Rockford uh, for the Monarch Energy Project yes. that's kind of being proposed. Has there been any update to that uh, over the last couple of months since you've been back in Washington? Have you been able to talk to the Department of Energy or the Treasury yet? We have been talking to the Department of Energy and to the Treasury, just so you know what, uh, I mean, I don't really have any updates to share right now, but I'm going to keep pushing to ensure that projects like Monarch succeed in Illinois because they're going to bring investment and jobs into our state. I'm having a green energy a center in Rockford would be fantastic in, in, in this part of Illinois because of where um, we are in terms of the infrastructure of the entire country. All class one railroads come through Rockford. Uh, we're the center uh, of the country. And so having uh, Monarch uh, Energy succeed will be great for bringing more manufacturing and more jobs into the region. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that projects like this succeed. All right, Senator. Thanks for your time today. Thank you.